Hi there, <laughs> it's me, Teacher Austin, and today huh, I have my zoetrope. Cool. Wow. Hi, Teacher Austin. Oh, hi, Teacher Marius. How are you? I'm great. What do you What do you have here? This is a zoetrope. Zoetrope. A zoetrope. What a funny word. I know. <laughs> Can I see what's inside it? Sure. What do you see? Whoa! <laughs> It's a guy's head coming out of a box. I know, it's kind of like magic, right? That is awesome. Yeah, actually, when people first saw these hundreds of years ago, they thought that it was magic that made them. They were a bit scared of it. A zoetrope is a machine that we can use to watch movies. What do you mean watch movies? Well, they're inside there's this long piece of paper Ooh. that has all these pictures on it. And if I put this paper, into my zoetrope. There we go. And turn it around. Your yeah. eyes will turn the picture Whoa! into a movie. Look at that. It's amazing. Here, do you want to look? You should be able to see the head coming out of a box and then going back into the box again. Pretty amazing how our mind makes that video out of all the pictures. Can I try this one? This one right here. Sure. All right, so. Well, look Ooh. at that. You have a different movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at that. Doing. Oh, wait. Backwards, backwards, backwards. <laughs> you see? Agility is very important. Wow, I'm excited. Yeah, well, let's get started. Let's go. <laughs> Making our zoetrope. It's such a funny word. Let's look. Zoetrope. Zoetrope. Zoetrope is a toy, a machine that people had hundreds of years ago. They were first made to keep people busy when they were bored at home. Basically, it's a circle that would spin around with some pictures inside, or what we call frames. Frames are just like movies today. There's still pictures that when we put them together very close in our brain, they become a movie. It's kind of amazing that this happens and it's because we're tricking our eyes and our brains to think that those pictures moving around are actually one continuous motion. To make our zoetrope today, there's only a few things you'll need at home. We'll need some cardboard, a CD, a template, some glue and two kinds of pencils. A sharpened pencil and a new pencil for the bottom of your zoetrope. Are you ready to see how it's done? Ah, teacher Marius, we forgot the glue again. Glue! Yay! Step one of making a zoetrope is to take our zoetrope template and glue it to the white cardboard. So first, I'm gonna turn over my zoetrope template and take out my glue stick. And you can use any kind of glue that you like, but I'm gonna use a glue stick just because it's easy. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna turn this over and stick it to the white cardboard. Step two is to take our zoetrope template, turn it over, and on the back side, we're gonna glue our black construction paper. We need the black construction paper because our eyes ignore the color black more than the color white. Step three is to cut out your zoetrope template. If you're waiting for your zoetrope to dry, that's a perfect time to practice the Quizlet set at home. Do your best to follow the lines. And here's a little tip that might help you. When you get to this part, just cut a straight line first. Can I help you? Sure, thank you, Teacher Marius. And then cut two straight lines down here and you can just fold this one back. Do you see that? Fold it out, and you can cut it right back here. Look at that, perfect. Oh yeah! All right, the first side of my template is finished. 
And I want to point out something here. This gray tooth says overlap, and that's going to be very important. When we put our two pieces of the zoetrope template together, this part will go on top of the other zoetrope template. That way it'll be big enough to fit around our CD. Now that we have both pieces of our zoetrope template cut out, we're going to do the overlap part. So I'm gonna put just one right on top of the other one and use some tape to hold them together. Now we have one long piece, white on one side, black on the other. Now this step is the hardest one. We need to take our CD and attach it to the template. The best way to do this is with lots of tape. So I want the shiny side of the CD to be inside my zoetrope. But if I make a circle first and try and set it on top, the circle might be too big or might be too small. There's a better way to do it. Really? We're gonna take one side of our zoetrope and our CD and we're gonna start to tape it and move around as we go. So we'll see it here from the bottom. And then put our templates right here. So we just tape and move around the CD. I can't wait to play with my zoetrope. Almost halfway finished. Now that our circle is taped all the way around, we just need to put these two pieces where the overlap is, and it's okay if it's not perfectly in line. We'll just do our best to tape it up real strong. One over the top, and one around each side. All right, that is the most difficult step through. Remember these two square pieces of cardboard? Well, they work a little better as circles. These pieces will be what goes over the middle hole of our zoetrope. Before you glue your pieces of cardboard into the center of your zoetrope, use a sharpened pencil to make a little hole. That way it'll be a lot easier later to push the pencil through. Make sure that it fits around the yellow part of the pencil. Perfect. You can use some white glue on your cardboard and stick it over the middle of your zoetrope. Make sure that you leave a hole that goes through the hole in the CD. Now it's time to glue our second piece of cardboard on the bottom. When we do this, make sure that your holes will be aligned, that they will line up for your pencil to go into both pieces. Now that our two circles of cardboard are attached, it's time to put our new pencil inside. Make sure you keep the eraser part at the top. And if you have to wait for your glue to dry, then you can go and practice some Quizlet. Try and make sure that your pencil is straight up. Now that your zoetrope is finished, it's time to put some movies inside. And that means you're gonna need uh, some scissors and some tape to cut and put the movies together. This extra white space here is gonna be important. When you're ready to put your movies together, make sure that the pictures line up and then just use a small piece of tape to hold your movie together. You do not want to make your movie into a circle. Don't tape it again. Just leave it open like this and you can put it on the inside of your zoetrope. 
when you spin it around and look through the slats or the holes, your movie will start to take place. Interestingly, if you just look like this, your brain doesn't really make it into a movie. You need the blank space, the black part, for your brain to make the zoetrope into a movie. When you are finished cutting out and taping these two, you can put them aside and then over here you can try and make your own little picture. So what I'm going to try and do is make a bouncing ball. So you want to start in a position like number one. And my ball will be in air. And then uh, every frame just go down a little bit. As you see, as you go down, the ball will stretch, and uh, as it is about to hit the floor, it will go and flatten itself a little bit. The shape will change just a little bit. When the ball bounces up again, the shape of the ball will change a little bit. It will stretch. And it will go just a little bit higher. You know, Teacher Marius, I saw some kids the other day trying to play their zoetrope like this. Whoa! That's not a good idea. No, <laughs> that is quite scary. To properly turn your zoetrope, use one hand on the bottom where your eraser is. One hand on the bottom. And the other hand is. here in the middle. In the middle. You can turn with one hand and then turn with the other hand. Turn, 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 turn. It Pretty neat, right? Yeah. Oh, I love the movies that we made today. Oh, it's fantastic. I can't wait to make more. Yeah, that's the best part about a zoetrope. You can make as many movies as you like and share them with your friends and your family. Right. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Have fun. Enjoy Have fun playing. Enjoy your zoetrope. Hey, look, I'm faster than you. Well, think about how fast you are. Are you sure? Look, in, out, in, out. Bouncy ball, bouncy ball, bouncy ball, bouncy ball, bouncy ball. Oh, backwards, 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 backwards. Zoetrope so fight. Zoetrope so fight. Sideways, sideways. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> sideways, 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 sideways. Oh, look at that. Upside down. Oh, that doesn't work, teacher Austin. <laughs>